Father, it is true that there is no other place that we can turn to for help, for forgiveness of sin, for a new life, for the hope of a new life, for rescue from your wrath except to the blood of your Son. And so we thank you for him. We pray that you would help us to remember him well this morning in our worship of you. And it's in his great name we pray, amen. As a part of our worship, we like to turn to the word of God to help us remember Jesus Christ. And so we're gonna do that this morning. Um, if you take your Bible and open it to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I have a couple of guys who are ready to hand some Bibles down the aisle. If you need a Bible, just slip your hand into the air and they will get you, Vince, don't miss over here. Hard left, there you go. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. This is what Paul said to the Corinthians that can guide us this morning. He says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. In verse 23, it says that Jesus is the one who initiated this remembrance and Paul received it from him. And then Paul, in turn, turned to the churches and delivered it to them to observe this remembrance. And so we've been taught it through Jesus' own words to his disciples in this last night and also through Paul's words here. And so we observe the same remembrance of Christ. Jesus initiated it in verse 23, it says, for his disciples on a night that was clouded by betrayal when Judas betrayed him. So when the worst was happening to him, he was thinking of us and giving to us a remembrance of him to help us. Verse 24 says, with thankfulness, he took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples. The bread symbolizes his body, which was given in suffering and in death for those that he saves. So when we eat the bread in this remembrance, or in our case, when we eat from a small cracker that comes around, we are to remember through that bread his body that he gave in suffering so that we could be saved. And so we remember him and we remember that about him this morning. And then in a similar way in verse 25, he took the cup of wine and he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. The wine symbolizes his blood, his bloody suffering and death. So when we drink the cup, which in our case is a cup of juice, we are remembering through that cup his blood shed for us for forgiveness of sins. And so we remember him, we, we remember that about him this morning. And then in verse 26, as often as we do this remembrance, we're, we're actually making a proclamation together through it. We proclaim his death for us that saves us. And we proclaim his death through this remembrance until he comes. And he is coming, and when he does, it will be such a good day for us. I wanna ask you this morning if you are trusting in this very Jesus who is the only savior for sinners who are headed for God's eternal wrath. If you are not, we implore you this morning to cast yourself in faith on Jesus Christ 
so that he might forgive you of your sin and give to you a new life with him to live. But if you won't trust him this morning, please just let the tray um, with the cracker and the cup go by. Jesus designed this remembrance for those who believe him, for those who trust him. He did not intend this remembrance for those who would refuse him. If you are trusting in Jesus to save you from the wrath of God and you're visiting with us this morning, uh, please join with us and remember Christ with us. Eat and drink with thankfulness of heart. And we'll remember Christ together and we'll proclaim his death until he comes. The men are going to come now and they're going to serve you the tray with the bread and the cup. Take some time and examine yourself. And upon examining yourself, hold on to that bread and the cup this morning and we will take it together. So men, please come and serve us.